Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I'm sorry about that. Please stand for the national anthem. A little bit nervous. The national anthem will be sung by Amber Shell. She's a senior at Bruton High School. Please be seated. <laughs> Mr. Richardson, members of the York County School Board, Dr. Shandor, cabinet members and school division staff, YRA faculty, family and friends, and seniors, welcome to the commencement exercises of the York River Academy class of 2019. Good evening, my name is Mark Trowitzki. I'm a graduating senior of the class of 2019. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank all of you for coming to celebrate this special occasion with us. And we want to particularly thank our families for all the support and care that you have given to us. Please allow me to direct your attention to the brief message in front of the program. We value highly the hard work, commitment, and accomplishments of our graduating seniors and that of their families and we do want to celebrate those accomplishments. We also want to treat the graduates and ceremony with proper respect, so I will ask that our celebrations are not too demonstrative and will fit the dignity of our time together. All of us at York River Academy would like to recognize Dr. Carl James, who is retiring this year after a long and distinguished career with York County Schools. Dr. James, we appreciate your service and very personal care for those whom with you come in contact. We wish you all the best in the coming days. We also want to recognize one of our biggest supporters, Mr. Reggie Fox, who is also retiring this year. Many of us at YRA have benefited directly from Mr. Fox's care and support. Thank you, and we wish you all the best in this next phase for you. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the chairperson of the York County School Board, Mr. James Richardson, along with the board members, Ms. Haywood, District 1, Mr. Higginbotham, District 2, Mr. Medford, District 3, and Dr. George, District 5. 
All of the members of the board have shown great service to the community as they helped to chart the course for York County Schools. We also thank the school board for its ongoing great support for York River Academy and all that means to our community. And now, Mr. Richardson. Well, good evening. So welcome graduates, family members, staff, fellow board members. It's an honor to be part of today's celebration at the graduation ceremony for the York River Academy. It's such a pleasure to share in the intensity and the emotions that are filling this auditorium. As you, those who are graduating close their chapter of their life story. So parents, you're probably wondering where the years have gone as you marvel at your son's or your daughter's accomplishments. It doesn't seem that long ago when these young adults we honor today were just starting kindergarten. Of course, living through those years between kindergarten and graduation may have seemed like an eternity to the students, and maybe for some of the parents as well. <laughs> you are the class of 2019. You graduate in a century that is still in its infancy. At a time in history when our world is dealing with enormous challenges, but at a time when the opportunities created by those challenges have never been greater. You're technology natives, born and educated in a technical, technological world that is only found in science fiction when many of us in this room were in school. You Instagram and you tweet. You read books and news though online and you text instead of call. And your electronic social networking has shrunk the known world. But you are the generation that will take the technology of today to a new and dizzying, dim dizzying dimension. You are the one who will bring solutions to environmental concerns, conservation of natural resources, the development of alternative energy sources, the issues that my generation is only now identifying. And who knows, there may come a time that some of you live on a space station, circling the Earth or live on the moon. Someone among you may find a cure for cancer or some other debilitating disease. So today you're poised to start a new chapter in your life story. But I just want you to remember the turtle. It's my favorite animal, or I guess not really an animal. <clears throat> but the reason is that in order for the turtle to move, it has to stick its neck out. And there are going to be times in your life when you're going to have to stick your neck out, and there will be challenges. And instead of hiding in a shell, you'll have to go out and meet them. So go meet those challenges and congratulations. Dr. Victor Shandor was appointed as superintendent of the York County School Division in August 2014. <laughs> he has more than 25 years of public education experience as a teacher, principal, and district administrator. Shandor, a 1992 graduate of Kelly University in Pennsylvania, <coughs> began his career in education as a teaching assistant. He then earned a master's degree in exceptional education from Old Dominion University and ultimately a doctorate in education leadership from Wingate University. Dr. Shandor grew up in Pittsburgh, PA. He and his wife, Melissa, have three children. Dr. Shandor. Thank you, Mark. Good evening and congratulations, York River Academy, high school class of 2019. I'd like to welcome and thank our teachers, parents, and families celebrating with us today. Graduates, you have reached a major milestone in your life, and I'm honored to share this accomplishment with you. Now, each year I struggle over what topic, quote, or message I want to share with you. I don't want it to be too long that you tune me out, or the opposite, too short, and it appears I don't respect all the hard work which brought us to this day. I often use sports analogies to make a point about concepts such as hard work, teamwork, dedication, communication, goal setting, etc. Typically, it's a Pittsburgh Steelers reference because they are the best team in the NFL. <laughs> but I wanted to refrain from that this year. I was able to spend some time with my family this past weekend. And I found it amazing, as my dad shared, that I never listened to a thing he said from seventh grade to my soft sophomore year in college. Advice, career direction, relationships, none of it. 
Of course, at that time, when I was your age, I figured he could not relate to being a teenager in 1988. And yes, I do realize all of you were not born until 12 years later. If you're being honest with yourself, how many times has that thought gone through your minds that the adults in your life have no idea what it's like to be a teenager in 2019? It's probably going through your mind right now. My father always shared his struggles when he was a teen, but as I stated earlier, I wasn't listening. When I share with my kids how we used a phone that was connected to a wall to talk to our friends <laughs> in the same room with our parents, they find it hard to believe that I survived such, with such a lack of privacy, assuming that they're even listening. Now, just because I didn't watch one episode of Game of Thrones, I have no idea who Cardi B is, and I still don't have Instagram doesn't mean I can't relate, because some of the best advice is timeless. It applies whether you're 18 or my age, 48 or my dad's age, 78. And for the record, I was listening. Here are a few things for my dad to take with you today. Number one, rub some dirt on it and get back in there. <laughs> now, if we fell or got hurt as a kid, he would always say this. It was a simple reminder that life is hard. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to bruise your elbows and skin your knees, so to speak. Pick yourself up and keep trying. The reality is you're going to fail a few times in your life. Get over it and move on. Number two, do the best you can even when no one is watching. The level of effort you put into all phases of your life defines you. Therefore, put everything you have into all that you do because it is for you, not for someone else. Doors will open up and opportunities will arise when you constantly give your best in all that you do. Number three, nothing worthwhile, I'm sorry, nothing worth having comes easy. Now, my dad can, can't actually claim that one. Um, it is a constant reminder throughout your life. You should set goals, go after them. Having that fire in your belly, that passion and energy to go after something with all of you can't be replaced. Find something you are passionate about and dedicate all of yourself to it. And lastly, enjoy the ride and laugh. You're going to make mistakes, doors are going to close, and occasionally you're going to fall short. But lessons can be learned in all of these things. Surround yourself with people who make you laugh and laugh at yourself. <clears throat> Humor can carry you through some of the most difficult times of your life. And at the end of the day, if you can't laugh at yourself, I would encourage you to rub some dirt on it and move on. <laughs> Finally, graduates, as you stand on the edge of adulthood and independence, ready to take on the world, remember you are prepared for the next step in your life journey and have a solid educational foundation and support system in place to be successful. My hope for you is that you're able to get back up when life knocks you down, you put your best into everything you do, and enjoy the ride. Congratulations and good luck. Good evening, York River Academy family, faculty, and friends. One of the tasks of, sorry, <laughs> one of the tasks of being your, the, this school's counselor that falls under the category of other things as required is the preparation and delivery of a short introductory speech at the graduation ceremony. As I thought about gambits for speech topics, the first that came to mind was the analogy. One of the best I heard years ago compared the high school experience to the painting of the walls of a room. And while I can't quite recall what made that so incredibly insightful, I know that a su successful analogy can really make a speech. Next, I considered building something around a quote from a brilliant mind or a gifted artist or an athlete, not that a person couldn't be both or even all three, but after spending 20 minutes down a Google rabbit hole pursuing that idea, I decided to set it aside. I thought of inspirational speeches like the Gettysburg Address, but I don't have the hat, the beard, or the height to pull that off. 
And then I reminded myself that no one here is particularly interested in anything that I have to say. I am just the bridge to the main attraction, the speeches of our graduates. Therefore, let me get on to the main point. I have the honor of presenting to you the students of the class of 2019. Hi, my name is Dylan Cooper. I've been going to YRA since freshman year. Step up. Oh. Hi, my name is Dylan Cooper. Been going to YRA since freshman year. And here I am in my senior year. For the most part, I enjoyed my time here. With the occasional friction that comes with school life, most of it my fault. I am proud of the progress I made throughout these years. Alas, I know. Alas, there is much more I will need to learn after high school. I am also proud of the May certification during the sophomore year. And more importantly, the trade knowledge that will greatly help me going forward, I learned from New Horizons, which will hopefully be the first step towards a nice career in IT. Of course, no one gets far without help without people helping them along the way. First, I have the wonderful teachers of IRA to thank. I would also like to say thanks my third grade teacher, Miss Fuller, for helping me get my behavior under control. <laughs> Otherwise, I would likely not be here. And of course, I must give thanks to my great family, who, despite the friction that family life will introduce, and being annoyed by younger siblings who don't know any better. Well, they do, but they don't act like it. Are undeniably the best sport I will likely ever have. My parents, for everything they do for me now, from food to the room I live in. My brothers, after I leave home and need someone to talk to for advice or help. And later return the favor in kind when they need advice or help. Good evening. Hello, my name is Dewan Dickens, and I'm a senior at York River Academy. And except for about five of you, you don't know who I am. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself. When I was in middle school, I was really struggling through that. The struggle kept, the struggle kept going through high school, and I was bouncing from school to school. Freshman year, I heard about York River Academy, and I heard that you had to wear a uniform, and I said, no way. <laughs> But once I got there, I made honor roll twice in a row. Then I left for my sophomore and junior year. I was getting really distracted with other things besides school, and I came back because I knew I had to get my life on track so I can graduate. And now I'm standing here in front of my friends and family, making them proud as ever. They say God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And you know what? I truly believe that. They also say no goal is truly achieved without assistance from friends and family, and most importantly, teachers and mentors. So now I would also like to thank Ms. Collier for pushing me to pass my math SOL. Without her, I don't think I would have passed. Next, I would also like to thank Ms. Warwick who helped me with my earth science SOL. It was tough, but I got through it. I would also like to thank all my teachers that helped me get to this point in my life. But most of all, I would not be here if it wasn't for my mother and the rest of my family and friends. I put them through so much and they still put up with me. <laughs> my mom would always push me, my mom would always push and I would always think she would, she's being me, but she just wanted the best for me. I love you, mom. <laughs> I 
I'm going to, I'm going to do great things and make you proud and make myself proud. Thank you to all my friends and family. I love y'all. Good evening and hello, my name is Omar. As a Turkish person, I never expected to graduate in the United States. After starting my high school in here and after switching many schools, I'm happy to I'm happy and I'm proud to graduate from here. It's been an amazing two years in the school. My family and friends played a big role in these two years I have spent here, with my family acknowledging my achievements in the school and my friends to have fun with. My high school experience in YRA will be unforgettable, at a time, at a, a time that has been filled with fun and acad academic achievements. I want to thank my family and my teachers for all the support, because without, without it, I don't think I will be walking across the stage today. But I want to give special thanks to Ms. Wheeler, who gave me amazing opportunities in technolo technology sector. I also want to give special thanks to Ms. Gloria, who made our class classes fun and entertaining while learning new things. It has been an amazing two years, and I thank my teachers for it. Hello, my name is James Griffin. I've, ha I've had, had great honor to have attended York River Academy for the past four years. I have to say, I wouldn't be standing here in front of you, all of you if it wasn't for my amazing teachers, friends, and family. I have some, had some great successes here at York River Academy, and I also have made some new, a new group of friends that have stood by me along the way. They have guided me here to graduation. I have made m memories that will last a lifetime and opportunities to explore new career fields when given the chance. I have learned how to take apart computers, fly drones, write code, and financially be financially successful with money. <laughs> I, ha I have also had the opportunity to have attended New Horizons for the Electrical and Renewable Energy Program. With this program, I have learned all the requirements for becoming an electrician and being safe in the workplace. I am proud to say I have accepted an offer with the Hampton City Schools as a maintenance electrician apprentice, and I am looking forward to what my future holds for me. I want to thank all my family members and my neighbors that have, that have been here to guide me along the way to my success. I want to thank Mr. Lorio for giving me lifelong skills and talking me through making the right decisions. I want to thank Mr. Kofer for opening new doors and giving me opportunities and adventures beyond high school. And I want to thank my grandma for going above and beyond and showing me what's right and wrong. I want to thank my parents for always believing in me, and I'm proud to have attended York River Academy. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michael Hicks, and I'm going to tell you a short story about how I've gotten here today. I started off here as a freshman in 2015. I was very mature and didn't really care about school. I had no plan for the future and was always getting into trouble. I came back sophomore year in 2016, worst year of my life. I didn't care about school whatsoever. I only cared about making people laugh. My behavior even got me suspended a few times. But my sophomore year taught me a lot about life. I realized if I keep acting like this, I'll get nowhere in life. I still didn't have a plan until November of 2017, my junior year. I discovered welding and fell in love with it. I applied to New Horizons for welding and in May of 2018 got accepted in a weld. I told myself over the summer this year, I have to do a lot better this year. I started welding and realized this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I worked as hard as I could, failed quite a bit, but I kept going and didn't give up. Going forward from here, I have accepted to return to New Horizons for my second year of welding. I plan to go to either Lee Bear or Virginia Natural Gas after I graduate from New Horizons in 2020. I've come a long way from my freshman year. I want to thank quite a few people for how far they have gotten me. I want to thank my parents, my older brother Ross, my uncle Bubba, my grandparents Gary, Teresa, my old manager Greg, my teachers at YRA, Mr. Cross, my welding teacher Mr. Dupree, my foreman Kenneth Jones, my best friends Corey, Nick, Dewan, Gentry, Mark, Holden, and Josh, and my favorite person, Mr. Lorio. Hi, my name is Chelsea. I came to York River starting off my 10th grade year. I went to Bacosan High School for my 9th grade year. I did not accomplish very much when I was there. Seven classes was just too much. Ever since I came to the school, my grades have come up way more than what I expected. 
and there are only four classes, which is much easier. When I first came to YRA, I did not know what I was actually going to graduate. But look at me now, I'm actually graduating, y'all. <laughs> I have accomplished bringing up my grades and learning many new things here. Over the three years I've been here, I think I've changed a lot, and I've been more self-confident about school and myself. I'd like to thank all the teachers here for teaching me everything to learn that I need to learn, but there are a few teachers that I would especially like to thank the most. Ms. Collier, thank you for being a great teacher. You always know how to make people laugh just by being your goofy self, which is a good thing. <laughs> Um, you work hard as a teacher, and I really appreciate everything you have done for me. Miss Wheeler, you have been a great teacher also. Thank you for teaching me how to make a resume, taking us to the job fair, and especially giving us candy. <laughs> um, you're a really sweet person, and you know how to make people laugh when you are being yourself, and especially Mr. Ritter. Um, I know it's only been a year, but it was a good year. Thank you for helping me with projects and other work that I needed help on. Also, any advice that I've asked for. Honestly, I'm glad you came you came here because you give me confidence on a lot of different things, and I thank you a lot for it. I'm sorry to everyone when I was being a pain in the butt in the ten beginning of 10th year. But again, thank you all so much for having faith in me and helping me get to this day. Hello all, I am Kier Ariana Minton. Having been at this school all four years of my time, Thank you, sir. Hello, all. Have, I'm Kiara Ariana Minton. Having been at this school all four years of my time in high school, I generally enjoyed my time here. I have had my ups and downs like many others, but I've been able to overcome them. I didn't overcome those alone, however. I, I had the help of teachers, staff, friends, and family. Just to name those staff and teachers who have helped me, thank you to Ms. Collier, Ms. Dowinger, Mr. Ritter, Mr. Cross, and my New Horizons teacher, Mr. C. I am truly grateful to have had this opportunity, both with getting to this school and getting into New Horizons. To the staff who have positively helped me throughout my time, I am genuinely thankful for your help. You helped me in so many, many, so many ways more times than I can count. All of you have been positive influences to me and possibly many others, even if they don't think it. To my friends who have been by my side and willing to listen to my ramblings, thank you. Shout out to two friends in particular, Dylan Cooper and Danielle Weber. You two are amazing friends, and I love you so much for being, well, my friends. All who I mentioned will be getting a complimentary hug after the ceremony as my big thanks. <laughs> Hi, my name is Corey Pearson. It's, it's hard to believe that I'm graduating today. Um, it feels like just yesterday I was in ninth grade. Being at school helped me a lot. I passed my first SOL well here and, and, um, and, and learned a lot from all the teachers. I would like to, th I'd like to thank all the teachers for helping me graduate. If, if it wasn't them for them, I, I probably wouldn't be here on the stage right now. Um, I learned a lot at New Horizons. I would also like to thank my friends my, my family and friends for pushing me through it. Now I have a job at the shipyards, and that was my dream, and now it's a dream come true. Some of my achievements were I got a job at the shipyards, and um, I got an honorarium from, from my New Horizons teacher, Mr. Scott. I also got student of the quarter and, um, and student of the year from New Horizons. Above all, I'd like to thank Mr. Cross. Um, also, I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my family, friends, and the teachers that helped me get where I am today. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nick Schenkelberg. I can remember the first day of freshman year as if it happened yesterday. I got off the bus eager to begin this new and unknown phase of my life, one that I would look back on forever. I remember meeting my new classmates. Fortunately, they were all very friendly. After getting past the awkward hellos, I began to bond with my new friends through either casual chats in class or playing mic spams, intentionally loud videos through our computers and virtual PE. We would place things such as we like to party or whatever loud and obnoxious noises we could find online and annoying the teachers. Freshman year continued, and once April Fool's Day came around, I decided I was going to take a risk and play a prank on my new English teacher, Mr. Lorio. Mr. Lorio left the room to retrieve some papers from the copier room. I ran from my desk and placed a small piece of tape on the bottom of his mouse that read April Fool's and covered the censor. 
When Mr. Lawyer returned to the classroom and started to use his mouse, my classmates and I could barely contain ourselves. After about five minutes of struggling with the mouse, Mr. Lawyer looked at the bottom to see my paper and as if by straight luck looked at me with a look that said, this was you, wasn't it? I came clean about the prank and rather than get mad, Mr. Loyo said that I better watch out as I had a prank coming from you soon now. Long story short, he screenshotted my desktop and enlarged the image to make it appear as if my computer was frozen. Sophomore and junior year were a big blur for me. I can't recall too much from those years. However, I recall that I continued to push myself to do my best and achieved an all-A honor roll for the first time in the history of my academic career, previously having been an A and B honor roll. And I maintained my can-do attitude the best I could. I learned how rewarding working hard can be. Senior year is my best year yet. I achieved so much in the short time that not even I can believe I did all this. I attended New Horizons and learned how Cisco routers and switches work and make networks function. I got a job as an intern in the York County School Division IT department and have learned a lot about how to troubleshoot various issues. Most importantly, give back to the teachers here who have helped me so much over these years by fixing their various computer issues. I get to keep this job through college as well, so I'm gaining experience in the field that I will pursue a career in. So my time here unfortunately comes to an end. I want to take a few moments to thank those who made an impact on me as a student and as a person. I want to first thank Mr. Cross for being such a positive influence on me and helping me achieve my best. Second, I want to thank Mr. Lorio for being an awesome English teacher and helping me grasp subjects such as the Shakespeare and the Iliad and the Odyssey. Third, I want to thank Mrs. Wheeler for helping me develop such great career skills that have helped me greatly in my job. I also want to thank Mr. Tremblay for being such an awesome history teacher and helping me learn about, all about the history of, well, everything. Lastly, I would like to thank Mr. Cove and Mr. Ritter for always sticking with us and making sure we are doing our best and showing us ways we can better ourselves. However, I would like to give the most thanks to my parents for sticking with me throughout this whole endeavor, from kindergarten to this ceremony here today. I couldn't have done it without both of you. My classmates also played a huge role in my success here as well. I certainly don't want to miss a chance to say thank you, guys, for being the best classmates one could ask for and wish you nothing but the best in life and wish you all have a great success. Thank you. Hello, my name is Aaron, and my time here at YRA has been a learning experience, one might hope. The things I have been most noted for was my astounding love and knowledge of history and my certification in the wise literally, financial literacy test that I thought I, would never go, what I was never going to pass. The biggest lesson I learned here is that despite what you yourself might believe, you are a lot more smarter than you think you are and have the capacity to do way more than you or your parents, your teachers, and most importantly, yourself believe. I would like to thank all of those who have supported me along the way, especially my granddad and his inspiring wisdom, my, my love for nature, outdoors, and wildlife. With, within it has carried me places where words cannot describe. I always have always been a marksman and I never miss. That is in a tree stand in Northern Virginia. But at York River Academy, I have learned the value of accuracy for my, of my academics. If it weren't for Mr. Kofer, I would be scrambling to check my phone and, as well as completing my work. Thank you for guys for my experience here at YRA. Now it's time to go to work. Hello, everyone. My name is Dejanique, and I've been at YRA since my freshman year. I did not plan to stay here until my senior year, but it was for the best if I actually want to be where I am today. I always wished I went to a school that had an art class, band, and other cool things. I even wish I had a locker. We don't have lockers at our school. <laughs> but I don't regret attending YRA. I've established many connections here. I've made great friends and I've made horrible ones. I've been a really good student and sometimes really bad student. Overall, I've been okay and I made it to the end. That's all that matters. I'd like to thank first Ms. Collier for being the best math teacher, but also a person I could go to if I ever needed anything. Just wanted to talk or if I wanted a snack. Her class is the only one I've consistently done great in and not ever had to worry about risk of failing it. When I was upset, she would be the only teacher to stop and ask if I'm okay or if I'd like to speak to somebody. I also want to thank Ms. Stoutinger, who takes her job very seriously and is great at what she does. She was a huge help to me throughout the years that I was here. If it wasn't for her, I probably would not be standing right here right now. Lastly, I'd like to thank my mom for constantly pushing me to do my best and not the bare minimum and also being there for support when I had problems at school. I'm happy I'm graduating. I didn't think I was going to make it, but I did. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amber Taylor, and today is the day that I've been waiting for my whole life. For years, I was told that I was stupid and that I would never make it this far. And in response, I worked hard to get here. I worked hard to prove to them and to myself that I could do this more than they said I was. 
I am proud to be here on this stage and be standing here for me and for my family. I could not have done this without the people that have supported me. I want to thank my parents for spending endless nights helping me and supporting me. They have been such a great help in getting me to where I am. I also want to thank my teachers for giving me the education that I need and for working hard right beside me. Without the support system that I have been graciously given, I would not be here in front of you today. So thank you. Hey, my name is Mark. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about my experiences at York River Academy and touch briefly on my time at New Horizons. I really enjoyed my years here at York River Academy, and for once in my life, I actually enjoyed school. At New Horizons, I applied to the emergency medical technician class, and I was immediately overwhelmed with the crazy amounts of paperwork and homework we had to get done. At one point, I honestly didn't think I'd be able to pass my, ex my exams, but I did. <coughs> However, my friends and family gave me the encouragement I needed to pass, and here I am now with a basic life support certification and newfound confidence. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joshua. It's been a very interesting four years within my time here at uh, York River Academy. However, this year, this year has gone from yee-haw to yee-naw real quick. <laughs> In saying that, I mean, I was ready to graduate and get out of here until I realized that this is it um, and was a true shock back into reality about what comes in the future. Real life is hard. But at the end of the day, I feel that I'm prepared to take on whatever challenge come ne comes next. I'm not afraid of what um, it can throw at, any, throw, at, throw at me anymore. If I fall down, then I get back up again. There's no challenge that I will back down from. I'll pursue my future until the end. No, I'll pursue it until there is no end. I want to leave legacy behind to be remembered with my family for years to come. Finally, I do have a few people to thank. I want to say thank you to every teacher here for teaching me that learning can be fun and interesting. I also want to thank Ms. Stoutinger for providing me with the key to unlocking my life. Mr. Cross, thank you for providing me with the best four years of my life. And I also want to thank uh, my mom and dad for putting up with me for 17 years and going above and beyond for me. I want to thank my brothers, Jacob and Nick, for being great mentors and people that I can always come to for advice. You all are the best, and I love you all so much. Thank you for sticking out with me and giving me the best chance anyone could have ever wanted. Good evening, my name's Owen Wallace, and first off, I would like to talk about my greatest achievements I had while I went to, your, to, to school here. The first thing I want to talk about is getting to New Horizons, which when I found out I got in, into New Horizons, I got excited because it was something that I really wanted to do. And I'm also proud of the certifications I've earned at YRA and at your New Horizons, including Word, PowerPoint, and the Wise Financial Liter Literacy t Certifications. The last achievement I want to talk about is the group of friends, well, Sorry, my bad. The last thing I want to talk about is the group of friends I've made along the way. I mean, some of them helped me along the ways, along the way with some of, some of the work that we had to do. And then that also leads me into the next thing I want to talk about. I want to thank the people that were there for me throughout the school year. I want to thank my mom and dad for supporting me <coughs> from the very beginning. And honestly, I didn't, I didn't want, to listen, want, want to listen to them about half the stuff they said because I didn't think it was important. But now I realize now realized that they were just trying to help me, so I was just, I just want to say thank, thank you again for my mom and dad. I want to thank all my friends for being there when I needed the help, and I also want to thank the teachers for taking, <clears throat> for taking the time to teach us and dealing with our craziness. I want to say some few things, but besides that, but God, so I take that out. In, in conclusion, I, want, I just want to say the fa past four years was fun. I'll miss it, but it's time to move on. <laughs> And that's why we love graduation at YRA. So let me add my welcome to all of you. My name is Walt Cross. I'm the principal here at York River Academy. Mr. Richardson, thanks to you and to uh, the other school board members for your support to York River Academy and to the, all the students in YCSD and for your hard work and service to this community, sometimes underappreciated. So we thank you for all that you do. It's really special to know that you all have a firsthand knowledge of what we're doing in the schools and the encouragement that you provide. And also, we'd like to welcome Mr. Higginbotham to his first YRA graduation. We welcome the uh, senior leadership at the school division, represented by Dr. Shandor, 
by our cabinet members, by several other people here as well. And I'd like to echo Mark's remarks by, um, by thanking you, Dr. James, um, for your years of service. Um, you've served us well, so thank you for that. And then also, <laughs> and it's going to be a different place without Mr. Fox to call and say, hey, Reggie, could you help us out with this one thing? So uh, Reggie, thank you so much for all that you do for all of us here in the in your <laughs> I'd like to recognize the staff of York River Academy, which I think is the best staff in all of York County. Um, so thank you for that. We, we really appreciate all that you do. And I would be remiss if I didn't recognize Riley Higgins, our school psychologist who worked with us, and also Chiquita Seaborn, who's our transition specialist for the county. These folks are remarkable and really bring a whole new element to, to what we're trying to do with kids. So thank both of you for, for all your time. And finally, and probably most importantly, we want to thank you parents and grandparents and family members for all that you've done uh, with these young people and for allowing us to partner with you. So uh, would, would parents and grandparents stand up so we could recognize you, please? We truly do appreciate your support. Um, so one of the joys of being a principal is getting to recognize students for achievements and accomplishments. And at graduation, we honor one senior with the York River Academy medallion, which characterizes what we hope to accomplish at, at York River Academy. The person uh, who's getting this tonight has, uh, has worked hard and has overcome difficulties um, that have impacted the lives of many of us through their service, through their attitude, through, through watching them walk through things that are not easy uh, and to come out on the other end. So we'd like to recognize tonight Mr. Dylan Cooper. Good evening, class of 2019. Good evening, class. <laughs> no, don't get up. No, no, not yet. <laughs> we practice our graduation, you know, without, so it comes off flawlessly. I said good evening, class of 2019. Uh, thank you. Um, I, just before I start on my remarks, um, I, I, a couple of you, several of you mentioned uh, your time at New Horizons. And so I, you know, I want to certainly recognize and commend that program to the school board, Dr. Shandor, and everybody here. Um, those of you who are participating in New Horizons this year, could you stand up just real quick? Let's see who you are. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Um, we were talking to a staff meeting the other day um, about all of you. And uh, we're about you as seniors. And we were um, talking, and, and many of the comments we made were those remember when. You know, those kind of remember when, and we would say your name, and we'd kind of describe something that happened last year or the year before or something along those lines. Um, and we would all kind of smile and say, and look how far they've come. And I imagine there's folks here to hear, parents, <laughs> grandparents, you can go back even further with your remember whens. And you, students, when you look inside, you can think about those remember wins. And sometimes you think about them with joy, and sometimes you think about them with some hurt, or maybe even disappointment, or confusion, because sometimes you remember when something happened that maybe wasn't quite what you'd hoped it would be. <clears throat> And the thing is, we said what we said in our faculty meeting, look at you now. Because some of those remember wins that you all had, some of those hurts and disappointments that you might have experienced, you've shown what it takes, the character and the motivation and the care and support of other people to move beyond that and to move forward and to accomplish great things. Sometimes when you look at those hurts and disappointments, make sure you put those into proper perspective about how much you've grown, 
I want you to look at your accomplishments, your performance. I, just look at tonight. And you know what? There's never a bad time for forgiveness, for reconciliation, for hope. So when you look inside, see all that you have become. And listen to what you say. Listen to what it is that you say. Because it'll give you an idea of what's there, what, you, what is inside there. Because it's true, out of your heart, your mouth will speak. So listen as you look inside. See if there's anything that still needs attending to. And then celebrate what you see when you look there. It's also a time to take a look behind you and beside you. To see that while tonight is a celebration of you and your many and varied accomplishments, it also is a time to reflect on those who have encouraged, taught, cheered, fussed at, disciplined, cried with, yelled at, suspended, <laughs> have loved you, and have been there for you and with you. We are honored as a staff to have partnered with your families and communities to come alongside you to stand behind you and help you accomplish and realize all the things that tonight points to. You've obtained certifications. I lost count the other day. I think it's well over 100 that this group of 15 have accomplished as far as industry certifications are concerned. Most of you, I would dare say all of you, have achieved much more than you ever thought possible. That's what you talked about tonight. And that's what those of us who are standing beside you and behind you, we see that. We've seen that you've accomplished things that you didn't even, you couldn't even envision. And sometimes we didn't either. And it's been a joy to see as we move forward with you today. So thank you for allowing us to partner as those who stand beside you and behind you. And each one of you, if you think about it, when you walk across the stage tonight, it's like you're leading a parade. You're leading a parade of all those who've had your back. All those who've walked with you all those who've walked alongside you. So when you look at that parade, celebrate what you see. And finally, take the time to look forward from this point tonight. The possibilities are so many and so varied. For some of you, it's off to a real job in the real world. For some, college awaits. Some are going to additional training and experiences, and some of you aren't quite sure yet. But listen to me. Listen. You are prepared for the next thing. You are well prepared for the next step, for the next thing. You're ready for what lies ahead. And as you've looked within, behind, and alongside, you don't have to do it alone. Also, as you look and move forward, remember that which has motivated all of those who are part of your parade. It's, in fact, care and compassion for you. The teachers don't get a bonus for your graduation tonight. Sorry. <laughs> your families, all breathing a heartfelt sigh possibly, they don't get a big payoff. Your community represented here, while in the long run will benefit from your success, they don't get a check back for the investments made in your education. Nope. It's all motivated by compassion and care for you. So, as you move forward from this point, treat others as you have been treated and would like to be treated. Let your actions be motivated by compassion, by the needs of those who are a part of your lives. Because as we look forward with you, we see hope, we see health, success, impact on those around you. From my position here, from the position of your families and community here who have cared for you and loved you, we celebrate what we see. And so should you. Thank you. <clears throat> I didn't write this down. So part of it is, <clears throat> all of us, me as a principal, um, your parents certainly, many of us, we know the backstories, right? So we know that what some of the struggles have been. And we know what the accomplishments look like. And we are so proud of you. So thank you for allowing us to walk with you. And we look forward to all that you will become. So now, class of 2019,
Would you please rise for the presentation of diplomas? I'm going to ask Mr. Richardson and Dr. Shandor and Ms. Haywood and Mr. Higginbotham and Dr. Joy, everybody just join someone on stage. <laughs> Dylan Michael Cooper. <laughs> Duan Martel Dickens. John Duna. <laughs> James Randolph Griffin. Michael Wayne Hicks, Jr. Yes, Chelsea Jean Jones. <laughs> Kiara Ariana Minton. Corey Lee Pearson. <laughs> Nicholas Adam Schenkelberg. Aaron Winfrey Smith. Dejanique Renee Stewart. Amber Nicole Taylor. <laughs> Mark Anthony Trowitzki Jr. <laughs> Joshua Caleb Waldron. Yes. Holden Daniel Wallace. Well, graduating seniors of 2019, would you please rise? By the authority vested in me by the State Board of Education and the York County School Board, I hereby declare you graduates of York River Academy. Please move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure that I present to you the graduates of York River Academy, class of 2019. Please stand at the recessional and thank you for your attendance tonight.